United States, Virginia, FBI's Behavioral Science Unit. Jack Crawford, agent in charge of the Behavioral Science Unit of the FBI. Everyone is talking about a scary man, a ruthless serial killer. His real identity is unknown, nickname Buffalo Bill. Let's talk about the nickname Buffalo Bill first. Why Buffalo Bill? Who is the real Buffalo Bill? William Frederick Cody, born February 26, 1846, died January 10, 1917. He known as Buffalo Bill. American soldier, bison hunter, showman. He was a recipient of the Medal of Honor, MOH. He was a hunter and supplier of buffalo meat. He had broken the record for killing and skinning wild buffaloes, and that is why he was called Buffalo Bill. Now let's talk about character Buffalo Bill first. The fictional character Buffalo Bill was inspired by three real serial killers. Combination of Gary M. Heidnick, Ted Bundy, Ed Gein, create Jane Gum. Nickname Buffalo Bill, born October 25, 1949, died 1983. Age, 35. Occupation, serial killer. Gary M. Heidnick, born November 22, 1943. Died July 6, 1999. He was an American killer who kidnapped six women. He imprisoned and tortured them in a pit in the basement of his house and killed two of them. He gave the meat of one of the corpses to his prisoners. Murders are committed for many reasons. Anger, jealousy, a robbery gone wrong. But there are also killers who target particular groups of people. Sometimes the victims are abducted or lured back to the murderer's home. Ted Bundy, born November 24, 1946, died January 24, 1989. He pretended to have a broken arm and needed help to carry his things. In this way, he took his victims into his Volkswagen. This terrible serial killer tortured, raped, and killed more than 36 women and girls. His trial was the first trial that was broadcast live on television, and 250 journalists were present in the court. That's why he is the one of the most famous serial killers in the world. Despite his terrible behavior and actions, he has many fans because of his smooth expression and attractive appearance. Ed Gein, born August 27, 1906, died July 26, 1984. His mother never loved him because she wanted a daughter instead of a son. So he had a love-hate relationship with women. He removed the skin of six women after torture and murder and made clothes and handicrafts with it. In addition, he stole the bodies of many dead people who looked like his mother and made clothes, masks and decorative items with their skin.
Clarice M. Starling, born December 23, 1967, age 22, protagonist, occupation, student at the FBI Academy, nationality, American. Clarice is on a mission to find clues about the Buffalo Bill case. Baltimore State Hospital for Criminally Insane. Clarice visits Dr. Hannibal Lecter for advice. But no one takes Clarice seriously. Dr. Hannibal Lecter, born January 20th, 1933, age 57, antagonist, occupation, psychiatrist, surgeon, museum curator, and serial killer, nationality, Lithuanian American, IQ 148. Who is the real Dr. Hannibal Lecter? The character Hannibal Lecter was inspired by three real serial killers. Combination of Albert Fish, Robert Mutzeli, Dr. Alfredo Bali Trevino, create Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Hamilton Howard Fish, Albert Fish, born May 19, 1870, died January 16, 1936. Nicknames The Boogeyman. Grey Man, Moon Maniac, The Brooklyn Vampire, Werewolf of Wisteria, the scariest serial killer in New York history. Pathology, Vampirist, Serial Killer, Serial Rapist, Pedophile, Cannibal, and Abductor. His victims were more than 100 children aged 3 to 12. Albert Fish famous quotes, None of us are saints. There is never a fish without a bone, and no man without faults. Robert Maudsley, born June 26, 1953. He is one of the most famous British serial killers. Unlike Albert Fish, all four Robert's victims were child abusers, because he himself has been a sex worker since childhood. After killing his victims, he sticks a spoon in their brains. That's why he is called a cannibal. But for many, he is a hero. Robert is imprisoned in a glass cage 23 hours a day, and when he goes to the prison area, there are six special guard. Hannibal is also a cannibal and is kept in a cage. He also became a charismatic serial killer after his sister was killed as a child. Alfredo Balitrevino Born October 2nd, 1931. Died 2009. Alfredo was a skilled surgeon. He was gay. In the 60s, such tendencies were not acceptable to the people. As soon as his wife found out about this, his life changed. They always fought until Alfredo cut off his wife's head and disposed of her body parts in hospital waste suspect that he may have committed other similar murders. Thomas Harris is the author of The Silence of the Lambs. In the early 1960s, Thomas was still a reporter. He went to a prison in Mexico to interview a serial killer on death row named Dykes Askew Simmons. Simmons had bribed the guard to escape, but the guard relented and shot him. As soon as Thomas arrived at the prison, he first talked to one of the intelligent prison staff, named Dr. Salzar, who saved Simmons' life. But he soon realized that Dr. Salzar is not a prison staff member, but he is. Dr. Alfredo Bali Trevino. 
who is in prison for several count of murder and cleverly managed to deceive Thomas. Since then, Thomas Harris decided to write a story about a genius serial killer. For better characterization, Thomas was present at many of Ted Bundy's court hearings. He also studied the life of serial killer Edmund Kemper. Ed is six feet, nine inches, 208 centimeters tall, making him America's tallest serial killer. He is cannibal who has killed eight people. I am an American, and I killed Americans. I am a human being, and I killed human beings. And I did it in my society. To better understand the plot, Anthony Hopkins spent hours talking to serial killers to evaluate and analyze their behavior. He believes that the character of Hannibal Lecter is written in the best and most complete way. He suggested the director to wear a dentist's uniform to make Hannibal's character more frightening. Dustin Hoffman, Sean Connery or Robert De Niro were supposed to play the role of Hannibal. Several different models of masks were made to choose the scariest one for Hannibal. In order to better play his role, Scott Glenn talked to the FBI agent hours and watched and reviewed the footage and photos of real crimes. After that, he had nightmares for a long time and was no longer against the execution of criminals. The serial killer's home in the movie was the home of a high school physics teacher. The movie was so impressive that no one bought the property. Only one fan of Are the Silence of the Lambs paid half the actual price and made a good profit on this deal. Working in a scary atmosphere was difficult and terrifying for all the project staff, and they tried to use every opportunity to joke and laugh to keep their sprit up. Ted Levine always drank a little cognac and was drunk in order to cope with the mental pressure of playing Buffalo Bill, and it shows in his appearance. After the film's release, Hopkins acting's teacher praised his performance. Jodie Foster was really afraid of Anthony Hopkins when he played Hannibal. Michelle Pfeiffer was supposed to play the role of Clarice instead of Jodie Foster, but Jodie beat all her rivals. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. This is the most famous movie quote. It was Anthony Hopkins' idea to stare directly into the camera to create a sense of power and fear. When Anthony Hopkins first heard the name of the movie, he thought it was for children. Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster, as the main actors of the film, face each other in only four scenes. With 24 minutes and 52 seconds of being in the movie, Anthony Hopkins has the shortest second time among all the actors who won the Oscar for the best actor. The FBI collaborated with the production team in hopes of hiring more female agents. To get a feel for her role, Jodie Foster spent some time with an FBI agent before filming began. The idea that Clarice Starling should cry was her. The first butterfly cocoon that was taken out of the victim's mouth was actually made of a combination of chocolate and gelatin, so that nothing bad would happen if it was swallowed. After the commercial failure of Manhunter, which introduced Hannibal Lecter for the first time, the producer gave the rights of that character to Orion Pictures for free. The cast and crew did a lot of research at the FBI training facility in Virginia to get the right information about the missions and how to use the weapons. Anthony Hopkins improvised mockery of Jodie Foster's southern accent, which leads to Foster's unconscious and very real reaction. Foster later thanked Hopkins for creating such a situation. 
Hannibal Lecter is the best antagonist in the history of the cinema. Clarice Starling's character is the fifth most influential woman in cinema. The Silence of the Lambs is the first horror movie to win all five major Oscars. Watching this movie several times is recommended to all those who are interested in horror, crime, action, thriller movies, as well as those interested in psychology or police.